It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC South. Buckle up. There's football coming your way. Coming up next. Our coverage of the NFL brings us to the southern end of the Tar Heel State and to this beautiful venue, Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Welcome in, everyone. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt on the call for you for this one. And I'm sure a lot of people in attendance and watching from home, Brock, they've already got the winner made up in their mind. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. We've got a sideline down there ready to dispel that eye test. Well, all that talk before the game is just that. Talk, 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 talk. You can look at past performance. You can look at metrics. You can spin any numbers you want. But we're about ready to kick this thing off. And from there, it's anybody's game. Ball is teed up. Chase McLaughlin to do the honors. And off we go from Bank of America Stadium. Raheem Blackshear now to return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So now out comes the Panther offense for its initial drive of the game. Bringing him out. Coming off a tough rookie season as the top pick in the 2023 draft is Bryce Young. Watching Bryce Young at Alabama, he just made the game look so easy. One of those rare prospects where everything just feels like it's in slow motion and he's in total control. Well, fast forward to the NFL, and he took a beating early in his career. Everything must have felt like a blur. But there's no denying the promise he has as a quarterback, that high upside that made him the number one pick overall. Moore going to motion over right. First play, and Young's going to pass. Moore's got it. And he finds space for about a three-yard gain. That's Antoine Winfield Jr. up to make that play. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. On the ground, Chuba Hubbard gets it. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Devontae David, like so many times in his career, making that tackle. Five yards on the play. They could just do that again. Third and two coming up. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Third down run by Hubbard. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Ooh, I like that call. I really, I really like it with those sticks. You can keep them on the sidelines and you get more than enough to get the first down. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Young on the play action. Tremble with the grab. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Play brought to an end by Jordan Whitehead. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Second down now, seven to go. Sending a tight end in motion left. On second down, it's Hubbard. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the play, though. That leaves him with third down and six to go. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. Motioning him from the slot right. On third down, it's Young. Lee gets got it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. First and ten, it's Hubbard. 
Comes inside the 35. And he gets this shot all the way to the 31-yard line. They'll get 18 yards there. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. They've come out swinging to begin this contest as they've got it down to the 31. To the air on first down, Young completes it to his running back. Here's Jonathan Brooks. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on a defense. First down from the red zone. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Second and six coming up here. Shotgun snap now to Young. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And that means third down coming up. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Throw on third down. That's cut at the four. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. This drive has been excellent. A few shots now. It's starting with six as they come up on it. First and goal. Sticking to the air. It's Young. And he will score. It's a Carolina touchdown. The Panthers finish up an excellent opening series. What an outstanding opening series, partner. They just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone. Yeah, it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown, but it showed just how well designed that script was. It was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone while getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on. Eddie Pinheiro on now for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Panthers will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Now Pinheiro on to handle the kickoff. Bucky Irving now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So here now are the Buccaneers on offense to begin their first drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. There's just certain quarterbacks, the way they run on the field, you just say their name and just some adjectives and attributes pop up right away. For Baker Mayfield, scrappy, tough, a will to win. I'm not surprised at all to see himself back in the starting role. Not surprised at all to see him flourish. The dude is mentally tough, he's mentally strong, and he typically makes the most of his opportunities. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. 
You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. Running on second with White. And he'll get them enough for a first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Mayfield now from the gun. That pass complete to McMillan. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Second and three now. Off the play fake. Here's Mayfield. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. All right, first sack on the board and the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Here's Baker. He'll get this complete to White. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Where I sit and judge a defense. I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field. And not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team. And the kick's away. And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Panthers are going to take over deep in their own territory. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. This drive will begin with Hubbard. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, that's a good run right there to keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Second and six coming up here. Tight end in motion right. From the 21. Looking for a target. Not enough on this throw. It hits the turf instead of his man. First time this game they've looked to him. And it's third down now. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. They'll throw on third and long. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And now a fourth down staring right at him. Nice work by the defense on that drive, Brock, as it looks like they're going to get off the field here with a three and out. Yeah, kept them from generating any sort of momentum to give this drive legs. We know offenses, they've got to see the chains move to get it going. But that forcible hit knocked the ball loose. Calls fair catch and has it inside the 40-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the Buccaneers will get set to go on offense. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Mayfield now, blitz coming. This is caught by Trey Palmer. And the tackles may just be on midfield at the 48. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. 
But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. First and ten. It's a gift to White. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. They're set up at the 35 now. First down, here's Baker. Pass is cut at the nine. And he goes out of bounds after getting them to the seven. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And that's a Tampa Bay touchdown. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock, and they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Buccaneers tie this game McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Blackshear on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Hubbard trying this up the gut. And he's caught after a gain of about two. That stop made by K.J. Britt. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Hubbard again. Jukes one defender. And he's brought down after a nice run and some extra effort. That's going to go down as a gain of seven. Now they're going to have third and two. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this beast down. Looking to throw on third and two. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. 16 yards on the play. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch. And that quarterback will find you again. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Now Young gets this to Sanders. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. 
They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Second and eight. This is reeled in by the get. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Out of the gun, Young. That's complete till he gets. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Tight end motioning right. From the red zone now. Find Sanders. And able to get this down to the 15 before going out. You know, kid, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. You got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Up the middle, Hubbard. And he gets taken down immediately right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it leaves them with third and five. Young working from the gun. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! Oh, they got it back. They can try and salvage something. Well, they scrambled back on top of the fumble. They lose a ton, though, and now they've got fourth down coming up. Yeah, recovering it really only brought you one more play. But with how much they lost on that play, well, here come the special teams. And now, well, now they got to be special. Now Eddie Pinheiro will try to knock it through for the Panthers. It's 45 yards he'll try to connect from. Marr connects there. And that's going to break our tie and give him a three-point advantage. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Now Pinheiro on to handle the kickoff. Tucker now on the return. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. drive will start out with a first and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. From the 39 now, after that explosive start to this drive. First and 10, it's Mayfield. And that's caught, it's Kate Otten. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. 
They gain 14 on the play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. You know, Kay, that is the epitome of trust right there. Right when the ball is let out of his hands, I think everybody on the sidelines in the stadium went, because <gasps> you throw it in double coverage. And you may question the decision, but it's tough to challenge it when it produces results like that. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Josie Jewell making that stop. So that's one quarter gone in a battle of NFC South rivals. Just a field goal separates these two. We'll take a brief pause and head back to Bank of America Stadium after this. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Buccaneers football as we begin. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Fits it through the middle. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. Set now, first and ten. White trying this straight ahead. And his charge towards the line. That's right around three yards. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. From the gun, Mayfield. This throw is caught. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. He brings it in. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Still chances to get these final four yards. It's second and goal. Baker now from the gun. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. Hey, uh, Mr. Quarterback down there, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. QB super fortunate that ball wasn't picked. An incompletion, still pretty good for the defense, too. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Mayfield the throw again. And he hauls it in for the Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers take a second quarter lead. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Buccaneers take a four-point lead.
McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Moore with a return. He'll bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. They're out and set, first and ten. Now it's Young. He finds Sanders. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. Play brought to an end by Jordan Whitehead. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Second down now, seven to go. Motioning the tight end left. Running with Hubbard out of the gun. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him two on the run, and that's going to set him up with third and four. Shotgun snap got Young. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust, and then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. Out of the shotgun, a give to Hubbard. This is ahead for about five. That stop made by K.J. Britt. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. Kate, you really do love those five-yard gains on first down. You know what it kind of feels like? It kind of feels like making pars on the golf course, on the par threes. And now, on the par fives, you can go let it rip. They'll motion a tight end left. They run again with Hubbard. And he's brought down for a loss. You know how we hear about teams and quarterbacks avoid targeting a stud cornerback, just throwing away from him? Well, maybe they should avoid running it anywhere near this guy. He's having no issue stopping these plays cold. So now here's third and five. Throwing now from the gun. Complete to Tremble. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. With a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. They've got first down from the 31. Play action now, Young. Now right, Leggett makes the grab. And they're going to touch him down after a short pickup. Second and six coming up here. Here's Hubbard on the give. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. Tackle made by Kalijah Cansey. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. Young to throw it. He has the first over the middle. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have, and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. They'll come up first and 10.
Here's a give to Hubbard. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Hey, look, any run of this size is going to wound the defense. But you get this game going right up the heart of their defense, you start to break their will and break their pride. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. And they're running the option. Short side. And he's in for the touchdown. The Panthers take a second quarter lead. It's a Bryce Young touchdown. My partner up here is pumping his fist after that one. That is how you run an option as a quarterback. Good read to hang on to it and do it himself. Yeah, because I could never do that, not even close. <laughs> but when the defense overplays and you run that option, you get that good two-on-one, more times than not, they will commit to the more dangerous guy, the running back. But you leave a lane, this quarterback can do some damage as well. Extra point try now from Pinheiro. The point after splits the upright. And the Panthers push their lead to three. Now Pinheiro on to handle the kickoff. Tucker now on the return. Oh, he's showing some burst on this return. And he showed some burst on that return, getting them all the way to their own 40. When you get contributions like that out of your kickoff returner, it is such a boost to an offense. This is about showing no fear, hitting the lane hard, a determined run back, and setting your offense up with great field position. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Up the middle, here goes White. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. One of the tight ends motioning left. A field now from the gun. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. So now it's going to be third and long. Another look for him, Brock. And hey, why not with the way he's playing so far? But this time, just couldn't hang on. I think you'll see coordinators at times can't get away from something that's working. I like that they go back to them. Make them defend him and stop him. They did that time. My hunch is they'll look for that receiver again today. Coverage holds up, and he just had to get rid of it. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? We chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Trent O'Gill out there again to punt this away. Raheem Blackshear back deep for the Panthers. And a fair catch made here at the 17. The Panthers and Bryce Young making their way back out on offense. And he sure has put on that chef's hat to dice up their defense early in this one. Quite the appetizer that he's prepared to what could be a great overall performance. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Young on the play action. Catch is made down the right sideline. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. They've run this 12-yard out route cade at the combine, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. It's a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Quite the start to that drive, huh? The first place sets him up now at the 38. Back to throw. Here's Young. 
Flushed out of the pocket. He's keeping it. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. When a play breaks down, every once in a while, you got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on that ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that one. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Counterplay, Hubbard. And he'll advance this down to the 38-yard line. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. From the 38. Catch made by Chuba Hubbard. And they take him down right along the 30. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Young on first and ten. That's him on the quick hitter. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They run it with Hubbard. Big gap up the middle. And he has it all the way down to the eight. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now the third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Here's a give to Hubbard, and he's able to fight this down to the two. Give him seven on the play, and now they have second and goal. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Ball at the two here for second and goal. Hubbard. Will not challenge for the end zone. He loses a bunch here. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. So now, here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Young escapes the pocket. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. Staring at fourth down now, the Panthers electing to go with Eddie Pinheiro for the field goal try. This is a chip shot from the left hash. Morrow connects there. There's a flag down, and if this is defensive, could give him a first down. Thought he had a chance to block it, but he ends up wiping out the kicker instead, and that's going to award their offense a first down. So now, following the penalty, it's first and goal. Brooks is in for the Carolina touchdown. The Panthers make it a nine-point advantage. It's a Jonathan Brooks touchdown. To rock this offense, looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together.
Extra point try now from Pinheiro. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Panthers make it a 10-point ball game. Now Pinheiro on to handle the kickoff. On the return, here's Irving. His return gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They'll send him over right. Mayfield on first and ten. Short pass brought in. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the gun, White. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third and a lone yard coming up. Of the gun, they'll look to throw. This ball's cut by Palmer. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. Just excellent effort on that catch and a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. Ball at the 33 for first down. Mayfield set to pass. Hits him on the out route. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm. But these outcuts, it is so imperative. And the best of them make it look oh so easy. Second and three now. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. He's on the move. He takes it himself. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. We've hit the two-minute warning now at the vault. And it's the Buccaneers looking at first and 10. From the red zone now. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Targets have far less room to work in this red zone, Brock. But down this close as a former quarterback, I'm just going to assume you got to feel like he should have been able to hold on through whatever. Yeah, and every once in a while, you get in that huddle and you remind him, now listen, guys, it's going to be contested. We, we know this. It's a physical game. Yeah. All 100 yards up and into the red zone and end zone. But when you get down here, you've got to come up with contested catches, and he couldn't. And he hauls it in for the Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers make it a one-score game before halftime. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, mm -hmm. the position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. Oh, 
Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Buccaneers cut it to a field goal game. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Moore with a return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Panthers and Chuba Hubbard ready to begin another drive. And that front is really going to need to buckle down and provide some more opposition because he's gotten off to an excellent start here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Young working from the gun. Finds him on the slant. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. To the air on first down. Young. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Hit arrived as the ball did to break things up. And we'll see what they do here on second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. On second and ten, Young finds Sanders. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They'll get 31 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. I think every quarterback around the world would agree, Kate. <laughs> you love throwing a short pass to a tight end and then give that guy a chance to show off his speed in the open field. He outruns defense to make it a much bigger game. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Oh, flag is down here. This might be a free play. Pass complete to Hubbard. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. A bit jumpy across the way there, and that halves the distance ahead of him on first down. Sticking to the air, it's Young. Oh, the football's loose! And the Buccaneers scoop it up! And they stop him before he gets much on the return. Well, where one defender failed, Brock, another succeeded. He shook free of that first tackle, but the next guy not only made that hit, but knocked it loose as well. Kate, as we saw when he broke that first tackle, he can absorb a shot, right? He's got great what they call contact balance to absorb it and keep going. But that second hit, well, that drove the ball free and leads to this takeaway. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and a half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. 
Shotgun snap now to Young. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Carolina! The Panthers grow their lead just before halftime. Xavier Leggett with the touchdown. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Extra point try now from Pinheiro. The point after splits the uprights. And the Panthers make it a 10-point ball game. Now Pinheiro on to handle the kickoff. On the return, here's Irving. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Just over 30 seconds left in the half as they come to the line. First and 10, here's Mayfield. Trying for the deep ball. That's complete inside the 35. And in, touchdown Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers make it a one score game before halftime. Jalen McMillan with the touchdown. And that, Brock, I know you're keeping track, but just in case our audience is at his fourth first half passing touchdown. At the pace he's on, this would be a new record if he has a second half to match this one. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Buccaneers cut it to a field goal game. Molly set up and it's away. Just a three point game now. Blackshear on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. They've got first down here, but just 18 seconds to work with. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now Carolina's going to take a timeout. That's its second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Here's Young on first and ten. And that's going to fall incomplete. We're down to nine seconds left. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. 
Back to throw it. Complete out to the right side. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Buccaneers territory. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Looking to throw, Young. Throwing for the end zone. And oh, he got it! Interception! And the Buccaneers do not get the return all the way back. That's going to bring us to the end of our first half. So we reached halftime in Charlotte. The hometown fans feeling good. Their Panthers have the lead. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the Alabama man and former number one selection, Bryce Young. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Well, if you love high-scoring games, no doubt you have been glued to your television so far. And no signs of slowing down as we begin our second half. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield ready for this next possession. And our team in the truck putting these highlights together. Well, they certainly had plenty of touchdowns to choose from for them, actually. Though the way he's been playing, Brock, you cannot count on him being done reaching that end zone just yet. Well, that's exactly the way you want to come out of the locker room to begin the second half. And really, Kate, this third phase of the game, the special teams, you just see the boost and the energy they can give to their team when they deliver a nice return to start this second half. Ball at the 33 for first down. Baker now from the gun. This one's taken in by Otten. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. Jadavion Clowney on that stop. Second down now, seven to go. Throwing the out route complete. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. There's no routes on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Third down, one yard to go. A field now from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. It's a gain of four. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. From the gun, a run for White. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. I got to really rack my brain, Kate, to remember a play, a run in this league that nice that doesn't end up getting an offensive first down. He did all he could to will this drive forward. In a good spot here, second and inches. Here's White again, and he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. A five-yard gain on the play, and that's good enough for a Tampa first down. That's a play that won't pop on the stat sheet, but the players and coaches won't forget about it. I promise you that. Coaches will file that one away the next time. They really need to pick up a few yards. First down, here's Baker. Got his target, it's up. 
Sutton. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. And they come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. And anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. First and 10, it's Mayfield. Completes this one to Otten. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. Josie Jewell making that stop. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 27. Finds him over the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They pick up 20 yards there. And that gives them first and goal. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Mayfield to throw again. Has it down close. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The impact this guy has had on this game, Brock, has been massive. They'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns. Yeah, and that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances. Puts him in front here in the second half and puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Buccaneers take a four-point lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Blackshear on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. The Panthers back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And as some running lanes have closed, he's just found some new ones. Continuing to hit this defense. More good numbers well into this second half. The drive will start out with a first and ten. This drive will begin with Hubbard. He's got to gain a six there. Levante David, like so many times in his career, making that tackle. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry and you move the sticks. On second down, it's Hubbard. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. It's a pickup of 11. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. Hey, these are the type of games he's counted on to get when they're available. Unfortunately, we had tremendous vision to see the seam and get through it before that window could close. First and 10 from the 41. Out of the gun, Young. That one's cut along the left sideline. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. First and 10 from the 41.
Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Lee gets got it. And he gets it down to the 35 before stepping out. Now here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete, too late, and it's headed the other way. Hubbard trying this up the gut. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. That stop made by K.J. Britt. He gets a couple, and it'll bring up third down. They're going to try to pick it up with an option left. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. And just in case this offense didn't have enough to contend with, well, now you got to worry about a quarterback that could do what he just did. Tote the ball himself for a big run. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Young looking to throw. The screen pass falls incomplete. Looking for the back that time. And that'll bring up second down. Hey, I know nobody's perfect, and all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. A second down throw for Young. He has it at the five! And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. Give him about 16 yards on that gain, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. <clears throat> He's got it. Pick up of a few as he heads out of bounds. Ball at the two here for second and goal. Hubbard. And he gets in. Touchdown. The Panthers grab the lead on their first series of the half. Chuba Hubbard with the touchdown. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. You know, Kate, this is the time of the game where fatigue starts to set in every once in a while. But that right there was a determined looking drive. They were not going to be denied and able to score and take the lead. Extra point try now from Pinheiro. The point after splits the upright. And the Panthers push their lead to three. Now Pinheiro on to handle the kickoff. On the return, here's Irving. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Buccaneers headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. First and ten now from the 30. A give right side to White. And looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Josie Jewell making that stop. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign. Well, they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second and six coming up here. They send a tight end in motion. 
Second and six now. Into traffic, complete. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. There aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. McMillan hauls it in. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Tight end in motion left. First and ten, it's a gift to White. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand if thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he put some nice toppings on it. A play action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very plain play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 47. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Making it harder than it needs to be right there. Just get the catch first. Guarantee some yards. And then worry about escaping the defenders and getting upfield. Third down. Here's Mayfield. Got a man. Palmer has it. And that play is brought to a halt, they are going to say, at the five-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. Big play sets him up pretty here with first and goal from the five. White trying this straight ahead. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This game has evolved so much over the years, but there's just certain times, there's certain moments, some flashes of greatness like that, that you see Dick Buckus, that you see Jack Lambert, that you see Mike Singletary. These middle linebackers stuffing a run. This guy in particular, like the greats used to do. It's a design boot. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball, and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. And they will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers take a third quarter lead. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Buccaneers take a four-point lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Moore with a return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line.
They're out and set. First and ten. Up the middle, Hubbard. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Hubbard again. And they're on him after about a two-yard gain. Yaya Diaby brings him down. Give him only a couple that time. It's going to be third down. Shotgun snap now to Young. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Whitehead. And the Buccaneers take over at the start of the red zone. He's tackled right at the 20. Well, that's now a second time that he's put his defense in a tough spot. That's a hard thing about playing quarterback, Kate. You know, with these interceptions and now the second on the day, you're asking your defense again to step up to another series, another possession, another challenge. This quarterback's got to start protecting the football. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the gun, Mayfield. He's got it over the middle. And they're going to take this to the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers parlay the interception into points. From Sid Luckman in 1943 to Drew Brees in 2015, we've had eight quarterbacks throw seven touchdowns in one game. And now we have a ninth who's accomplished that feat as his dominance over this defense continues. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Buccaneers drive their lead to 11. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Blackshear on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception, he's looking to throw. This is reeled in by Leggett. And he's going to go out of bounds, looks a little short of the 35. Second and three now. Here's Hubbard, and the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. That stop made by K.J. Britt. Nothing gained or lost on that run, and now it's third and three. They run again with Hubbard. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. 
pretty obvious this defense man they need more people around the line of scrimmage but the minute you do that Kate you start opening up those throwing lanes this is how balance takes apart a defense ball on the 45 first and 10 out of the shotgun a give to Hubbard and he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field give him around six that's gonna make it second and four that's what I call a rhythm starter right there. Man, offenses love execution and plays like that on first down, Kate, because now that playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. Running with Hubbard out of the gun. He'll cobble together a yard there. Not able to get away from the big Vita Vea. Call it no gain, maybe one at best on that play. That leaves him with third and two. Here's a give to Hubbard. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. That's one of those plays, Kate, as an offense, it just sticks with you a little bit. It bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance. And on the other side, well, it sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field. Panthers getting everyone set for the punt. And this will be a second effort of the contest. And this looks like it got just inside the 20 as it flew out, and indeed it did. They're putting the ball at the 19-yard line. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember, uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Baker now from the gun. This ball's cut by Palmer. And he gets it up close to the 25 before he's out of bounds. That timing had to be perfect. And boy, was it ever. He reached a breaking point along his route, and that QB knew right where to throw it. Tremendous anticipation and tremendous execution. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. It's White on the give. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes. But the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. First down, here's Baker. He completes it in traffic. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard game. Josie Jewell making that stop. You know, with some of these tight ends today, you could put two guys, heck, put three guys on them, and they still find a way to make those catches. With how they move at their size, they really are the ultimate matchup advantage. Running on second with White. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Three quarters in the books from this one. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the four. Ball on the 45, first and ten. Motion man sent left. Mayfield on first and ten. Dump off caught by his back. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Got to be a pretty good actor. Got to be pretty good at selling to that defense. Now that's a drop back pass. When you get a big play on a screen like that, 
Boy, it's choreography by everybody on that offense. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Motioning him from the slot right. First and 10, it's Mayfield. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. And a man is there to knock that away. You know, that is so hard to do. That's called body control. Great positioning to swat the ball away, not go through the receiver, no penalty flag. He's got the body control and, more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. The give now to White. Space to the left. And he's going to haul it in for the Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers have likely locked up the win right there. It's a Rashad White touchdown. So great work by the running back there, Brock. Found just a little bit of space, and he took advantage all the way for six. Big time. I mean, so big time. You know, and it, you hear running back coaches, Kate, say this. They'll say, slow to explode mm -hmm. through. And he explodes all the way for the touchdown. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Buccaneers push their lead to 18. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Moore with a return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Young working from the gun. Completed to his running back. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's Young to throw. We've got a screen to the running back. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. It's a meager two-yard gain, but that's enough to award them the first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get them enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. To the air on first down, Young. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll get it up to the 44. Second and three now. Sticking to the air, it's Young. Completed over the middle. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on a throw, that's a go-to route to target. Battle coming up on third and inches. Oh 
Out of the gun, Young. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, that's one of the moments as a QB, you just feel like those defenders are in your huddle. To drop them for a loss on third down can happen. That's an incredibly quick read by the defense. Fourth and three, drive on the line. They'll run for it, Hubbard. And in a rarity today, he stopped at the line of scrimmage. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on downs. This running back has had himself a day, but not on that play. Finally, a little bit of catharsis for everyone on that defense to keep him from the first and get a turnover, a much-needed turnover, on downs. The Buccaneer offense back out for another series. And all the touchdowns are sure going to catch some eyes around the league, but sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better as this defense tried and tried and failed and failed to find any way to slow him down. On the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Out of the gun, White. He still has room inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 27. That play good for 17 and a first down. Here's Mayfield. This one's taken in by Otten. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. Up the middle, here goes White. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. A field now from the gun. This throw is cut. And he's tackled for a short game. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. Here they come. This is third and five. To throw is Mayfield. Forced out to his right. And the ground game works for the touchdown. The Buccaneers keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. Baker Mayfield, the touchdown. Another score for him this game. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end, Brock, the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. McLaughlin's extra point is up and good. And the Buccaneers grow their lead yet again. McLaughlin has it on the tee, and he's ready to send this fly. Moore with a return. And look at this return. 
Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. They're out and set, first and ten. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 39. Anticipated the quick staccato pass there. It's knocked away. Incomplete. That one vehemently swatted away. And that leaves him with third and short. Read and react. Read and react. Read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And then you got to react as he begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. Here he is to throw on third and two. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play, and it'll give the Panthers a first down. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Could not beat the defender there. And now they face second down. Any DB prefers a highlight real interception to just force it an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized a pick wasn't possible on the play, well, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. A second down throw for Young. Throw complete to Thielen. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Whole bunch of credit goes to just about everybody on that offense. Guys up front had to give the QB enough time to let that play develop. Excellent effort by that receiver to stay alive and for the quarterback to scan the field and find his completion. Looking to throw on third and two. It's caught. That's Thielen. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. A tight end in motion now. Working inside the red zone. The throw is caught. And he drives this forward to the six. You know, Kate, it is so hard on these defenses to try to keep an eye and monitor on these running backs when they leave the backfield, especially if he's waiting to chip a defender or delays in the start of his route. He's really an underrated part of their overall passing game. Second and three now. Here's Hubbard on the give. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Go ahead. Find me an offense that won't take that type of efficiency on every snap. Listen, it was good execution, a quality gain, and it moved the sticks. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Now a run with Hubbard. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Now it's second and goal from the one. Going power with a big tight end. And he runs it across, touchdown. The Panthers putting up points in a game decided. Well, Brock, not sure the play they were running was all that disguised, but with the personnel they had out there, it was going to be tough to stop them either way. Yeah, there's a great debate. Is it the X's and O's or the Jimmy's and Joe's? <laughs> yep. No debate there. That was the Jimmy's and the Joe's in their want to to run it right down their throat. 
Extra point try now from Pinheiro. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Panthers make it an 18 point game. Not really much of an avenue left for a comeback in this one, but they still have to try the onside kick here. The Panthers say they have it, and the refs agree! Panther football! First and ten from the 41. Shotgun snap now to Young. Escapes the pocket. He gets a little something out of it before sliding to a stop. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. From the 44 here on second down. Tremble with the grab. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. From the pistol, it's Young. Connection made to Tremble. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now it's Young. Beelan's got it, complete. And he's taken down at the 30. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. First and 10, it's Hubbard. Has some space inside the 15. And he's finally taken down at the three. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. Best run games in this league at balance. Can run it inside, and as they just showed right there, doing damage on the outside. Working quickly here. From the red zone now. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Hubbard trying this up the gut. And he will take this across. Touchdown, Carolina. The Panthers get it back to within two possessions. Chuba Hubbard with the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Extra point try now from Pinheiro. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Panthers make it an 11-point ball game.
Still down a couple of scores after that. They're going to set up for the onside kick. And the Buccaneers manage to recover the football. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Well, kind of feels like we're starting to get to that point, Brock. And what point is that, Kate? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the bold point of the game where you have to try something bold could end up becoming a play that finally sinks him, though. Yeah, it's time for desperation. Without a defensive stop here, it's really hard to lay out the scenarios for much success. Every second matters now when you don't come up with that onside kick. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Here's White. And he has enough room to gain about four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. Again, this is White. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. That's good for seven yards. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run. But he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and ten. Going to the ground again on first. And he's going to take this only to about the 31. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. We've reached the two-minute warning from Charlotte. Buccaneers leading by 11. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Here's White again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. So quickly, the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. So now here's third and five. A give right side to White. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. With 154 remaining, the defense burns a timeout. On fourth down, the Buccaneers trying to put three on the board with Chase McLaughlin. Ball on the right hash, the distance 43 yards. The kick by McLaughlin is good. And that extends their lead to 14. That kick, well, it throws a roadblock up on some of the remaining avenues to get back in this game. It really leaves only one remaining. It's going to take two touchdowns if they want a shot at it. And we know those odds, they're getting pretty long. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Moore with a return. And this drive will start inside the 25. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw it. Finds him over the middle. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Panthers moving quickly, trying to get set at the line. Throwing now. 
complete to tremble. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You're training a little bit of speed, sure. But you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you got to assume the ball's going his way. Panthers moving quickly, trying to get set at the line. Here he is to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Kate, I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers. It's awesome with tight ends. But when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. Completed over the middle. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Now the Panthers decide to spend their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Second and three now. Now to throw. And he's able to get this down to the 36. They get six and a first down as well. So it's a win for the visiting Buccaneers. And partner, I know you took down plenty of division rivals in your NFL days. Heck, your conference opponents back in Washington in your college days always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a little more contempt, <laughs> and we could feel it today, and that's why that W is a little bit sweeter. So that puts a bow on this one for my partner, Brock Heward, and everyone involved on our crew. I'm Kate Scott signing off. This has been another presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.